Hello all and welcome back to Bricking It Down, our Lego weekly news recap show. Well, there wasn't one last week, but anyway, it doesn't matter. And also just apologies for not releasing a video yesterday. Um, things were busy, I was making a Name Explained video, quite a large one. That will be out later today on the Name Explained channel, obviously. But um, yeah, so I just didn't have time to make a Lego video, but I've got really good ideas. I've got something really cool I want to show you guys, which I've made out of Lego, another sort of mock build. But anyway, this is about Lego news, and there's been one big piece of Lego news this week. Um, and that's basically what this entire video is going to be about. It's going to be about LEGO Minions. So uh, earlier this week, LEGO announced that they're going to be making uh, LEGO sets based on the Minions franchise. Specifically the next Minions film, which is out next year. I think it's called Minions The Rise of Gru. And of course, with Minions being as infamous slash, I guess, famous as they are, this has caught a lot of attention. And I'm quite mixed feelings on it. First off, I'm not a fan of the Spickable Me or the Minions um, films. Oh, just That's just personal. I know a lot of people do like them. I can understand why people do like them. They're just not for me. I personally think they're quite lazy. I think that's the best word I'd use to describe them. They're quite lazy, bottom of the barrel sort of jokes, just generally being silly, shouting just sort of basic stuff like that and I know the argument is you're there for kids Patrick you know like kids can be amused by anything and yeah kids are much easier to amuse than adults you know the Despicable Me films aren't meant for me apparently they're meant for children and like middle-aged uh, pe parents on Facebook they seem to love them as well and yes while kids will be amused by Despicable Me they don't need to be. Just because it's children doesn't mean we have to not try as hard. There's some really amazing films out there for kids that are really good and they would enjoy them just as much as uh, Despicable Me or The Minions. But anyway, that ran over. This isn't about the Minion films. This is about the Minion Lego. And likewise, I have some opinions on it. It's kind of obvious they're doing this because Minions are really popular, I imagine. I mean, they're not as popular as they used to be. But I imagine that popularity is going to come back with this next Minions film. Those films do really big money. You know, they're really popular. And these Lego sets will definitely help with that for sure. Definitely. Um, yeah, they, 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 I imagine these Lego sets will sell quite well, depending how many they make. In my head, just from the teaser they released, so they announced this with a teaser on Twitter of some brick-built Minion eyes looking around. And I'm imagining... We're going to get a brick-built minion. I imagine that would be one of the biggest sets of this uh, series. Could even be like life-size. Minions aren't too big. I know uh, Mega Bloks did a brick-built minion. And I, I guess that might have sold well. I'm not sure the numbers on how well that sold. But I can imagine Lego having a go at that as well. And of course, this does open up a lot of potential. So uh, the Minions films are made by Illuminations. Um, so this might open the floodgates for more uh, Lego sets by Illuminations. The big one that, of course, gets me excited is the fact that Illuminations are making a Super Mario movie uh, next year or the year after. I'm not too sure. And I definitely don't think, as exciting as that would be, part of me doesn't think just because we're getting Lego Minions, we'll be getting Lego Super Mario as much as I want it. I don't think just because Illumination have those rights it means they can make it I think you need to get the heads up from Nintendo as well and last I heard Nintendo are currently working with Kinects unless that um, has gone down the drain they're not doing that anymore you could get Kinects uh, Mario figures so I imagine they're still doing that if that license has run out then yeah maybe uh, Lego will pick up the uh, Super Mario license that would be amazing so if anything good comes of it I guess it could be that and especially with a Mario film I mean I know Mario's always popular but having the sort of tentpole Mario film could help boost that like the way we saw uh, the Detective Pikachu sets come out of Mega Blocks during the uh, Detective Pikachu uh, film coming out which I never got to see which is really annoying but of course what's got me thinking of course is what are these uh, Lego figures going to look like I imagine most of them will be a uh, minifig scale and I wonder how Lego will depict a minion my uh, idea is it's going to be like the Spongebob minifigure where it's going to have like the normal minifig body with like a bit over the top with the short legs that's how I imagine Lego are going to do it personally, but they could do a wholly unique mold for the minions, like Mega Bloks did, but then Mega Bloks do unique molds for everything, so that doesn't really count. And what I'm also interested in is not just what the minions are going to look like, what is Gru going to look like? Because I'm guessing this film's going to have Gru in it. And Gru's a really hard character to depict in Lego form. Uh, yeah, because he's really weird, like a body shape. And he's got that massive nose. And as we know, Lego don't really do noses. They do um, 
they do like no just i think they've done i think the most recent figure i can think of in those is the underminer in the lego incredibles uh, franchise they add noses to molded heads like the mickey mouse sort of uh, heads they add noses to that so maybe Gru will get a uh, molded head or a unique molded head just to make the character look more accurate um, I don't know though, we don't really know much on this, but on the whole, um, yeah, like I said, I don't really have that many opinions on this, it is what it is, it's going to get a lot of people angry, and I guess that's fine, people like to get angry at minions, just because they're really easy target to get angry at, and there's reason for that, like I said, they are somewhat lazy in the world of uh, like content, you could what children could watch so much more and be more entertained by really good stuff people are putting out there like there's so many good films for kids out there so just don't shove them in front of despicable me or do i you know i don't control your kids if a kid wants to watch despicable me or minions let them watch it at the end of the day i don't know i'm just rambling for a little bit but yeah that's the only real news story i want to share with you guys today i think there's been much more beyond that so yep as i said this is our weekly news recap it's out on friday and this is me signing off for the week. We'll be back next week with some more Lego videos, some more Lego news, hopefully if I get the time to make it all. But otherwise, guys, take care.